welcome to another video by Royal Paris College. So today we'll be discussing the cranial nerves and how to conduct a cranial nerve examination. For the purpose of this video, we've been using McLeod's Clinical Examination Handbook and Oxford Clinical Examination Handbook. So you can refer to these two books for further information. So the video will be split into two segments. One which will be outlining the basic clinical examination and another which will look into the in-depth uh, pathologies behind each of the cranial nerves. So this video will be focusing on the basic clinical examination of cranial nerve and it should help students around the world, especially UK students, on how to conduct a cranial nerve examination based on OSCE guide. Good morning, my name is Anish Joseph and I'm a final year medical student at the Medical um, University. So today I've been asked to perform your cranial nerve examination. Uh, the cranial nerves are the nerves supplying your head and neck. Are you okay to do this examination? Yeah. Okay, perfect. Uh, so can you please uh, confirm your name and date of birth for me? Jocelyn Joseph, 13th August 1996. Okay, perfect. So for the purpose of this examination, I require you to take off your mask. Okay, so we will begin by assessing your sense of smell. Have you noticed any strange sensation in your nose or any strange smells or any changes in your smell recently? Okay, and do you have any uh, blocked nose at the moment? Mm. Okay. okay, now I want you to put a finger over one of your nostrils and breathe in. Then relax and repeat with the other side. Great, that's it. Thank you. Okay, now I have a substance here. I would like to close your eyes and tell me what you smell, if anything. Mm. Lemon. Okay, thank you. Okay, so that has confirmed that your sense of smell is working perfectly fine. So now we'll be moving on to testing your vision. Uh, so I can see that you've been, uh, you're wearing glasses. So since what age have you been wearing these for? Um, 17. Okay, and have you noticed any recent changes in your prescription? Mm. Now, do you notice any black spotches or black marks on my face? No. Um, do you see any of my facial parts to be missing? No. Perfect. Now, uh, we are moving on to the next part, which involves a smell and chart. For this, I want you to read a chart that's behind me, and I want you to cover your one of your eyes and read from the top of the chart to the bottom of the chart. Okay? Perfect. Okay, now you have a smell and chart in front of you. Could you please cover your left eye? And can you tell me what, which is the lowest line you can see? Uh, the sixth one. Okay, so can you read that line from the uh, left side? E, P, T, Z, O. Perfect, okay. Okay, so can you repeat the same thing with your right eye now? Okay. Which is the lowest line you can see? Sixth one. And can you read the sixth line from the right side now? O, Z, T, P, E. Okay, perfect. So for the next bit of this examination, I want you to take off your glasses. Okay. Uh, so for this part, uh, I will be shining a light in your eye to test out your pupil uh, reflex and uh, the accommodation your eye has to the light. So can you please right. close your right eye? Now I'll be shining a light in your left. Perfect. Can you do the other side? Looking at me, that's it. Okay, now I want you to look at my finger and look at the wall behind me. Look back at my finger, look at the wall behind me, and look back at my finger. Okay, so next, what we'll be doing is looking at how well your peripheral vision is. So for this, I will require um, for my finger to move around you and also to check your blind spot, okay? Okay, can you please cover your left eye for me? And can you see my finger wiggly? Keep looking at me. Keep looking at me. Can you see my finger wiggly? Mm -hmm. Can you see it now? Yes. Can you see it now? Yes. Okay, so I'm going to do the same with the other side, but this time, can you see my finger? Yes. Can you still see it? Yes. Can you still see my finger? And so I'm going to repeat the same with the other side, but this time, when, the, when you see the finger, please tell me. Yeah. Can you swap your eyes for me now? Can you see my finger quickly? Mm -hmm. See it quickly? Mm -hmm. Nice. Yes. Okay, I'm going to repeat the same thing now, and tell me when you 
Si Martin nga. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so for this next part, we will be assessing how well your eyes are moving. So for this, I want you to look at my finger, and with your eyes, I want you to follow my finger and tell me if you have any double vision. Okay? So look up, keep looking at my finger with your eyes. Double vision? Mm -hmm. you see any double vision? Any double vision? Mm -hmm. Any double vision? Mm -hmm. Keep looking at my finger. That's it. Any double vision? Mm -hmm. So can you please close your left eye for me and tell me what colour you see? Orange. Okay, can you close your right eye for me and what colour you see? Orange. Is it the same kind of orange? Is it lighter, darker? Same. Okay, perfect. Next, we will be looking at where your blind spot is. So I want you to close your left eye for me. Okay. And can you see my pen? Mm -hmm. Okay, tell me when the pen disappears. Is it back now? Mm -hmm. Okay. Is it disappeared? Yeah. Is it back now? Yeah. Disappeared? Yeah. And is it back now? Yes. Is it disappeared? Yes. Okay, perfect. Yes now. And can you see my pen? Mm -hmm. And tell me when the pen disappears again. Yeah. Okay. Is it back now? Yes. Has it disappeared? Yeah. Is it back now? Yeah. And has it disappeared? Yes. And is it back now? Yeah. And has it disappeared? Yes. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Okay, so your blind spot did not align, align with my blind spot, so that could be because you're not wearing your glasses. Okay, so next what we will be doing is using an ophthalmoscope. Now an ophthalmoscope is used to look at the back of your eye so we can see the structures behind it and the supply and blood supply all of that. Um, so for this I would require to, um, to come quite close to you. Is that okay with you? Okay, so next we will be assessing your sense of sensation. So for this, we will be using um, a blunt object uh, to kind of um, prick across your face. So as you, if you show me your finger, you can feel how it is. The same thing across your face. So can you please close your eyes and tell me yes when you uh, feel the object on your face. Mm -hmm. Okay, just close your eyes. Yes. 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 And now we will be assessing the sensation of your eyes. So for this, I've got a cotton ball. I want you to look all the way to the left. And I'll be bringing this cotton ball and touching your eye. Okay, and look all the way to the left. Perfect. And repeat the same with the other eye. Look all the way to the left. And look all the way to the right. Okay, so next I'm going to tap on your forehead. A nice blinking you got there. Then I'm going to use this to tap over your chin. Okay. Okay, so next we will be looking at the muscles that control your face. So for this, can you raise your eyebrows as high as you can and close your eyes as tight as you can and don't let me open it? That's perfect. And show me your teeth. Okay, perfect. Okay, so next we'll be assessing your hearing and how well that's working. So for this, can you close uh, your left ear 
and I'll be whispering something, and I want you to tell me what I'm whispering. Right. And be with the other side. Right. Okay, so have you noticed any difficulty in swallowing recently? No. Any difficulty in eating food, mm -hmm. solids? Okay, perfect. Okay, now I want you to open your mouth wide so I can just have a look at the back of your mouth using the slide. Okay, open your mouth wide. Say ah. Ah. Okay, perfect. Okay, so next I'm going to be testing the muscles around your head and neck. Okay, so for this I'm going to put my hand against your side of your face and I want you to push against my arm. That's it. I'm going to do the same with the other hand. I'm going to do the same with your shoulders and I want you to push against my hand. Try to get up. That's it. Okay, thank you. So just to finish up, can you please repeat A-E-I-O-E? A-E-I-O-E. Okay, perfect. So that concludes our cleaning exam. So as part of testing your hearing, what we do is we get a twinning fork and we place it in the middle of your forehead and you have to um, say where you hear the sound the best, whether it's left, middle or right. Okay. Another part of the examination is placing the chewing board behind your ear on the bone there and also just uh, on the um, just two centimeters from your ear here and to see in which part you hear the chewing board sound the best. Okay, I would like to confirm that your cranial nerves are working perfectly for you and thank you for your cooperation. Thank you. So today we had a 21 year old female. And as you can see from her clinical examination, we have concluded that all her cranial nerves are functioning perfectly well. So as a summary, what we did was we first assessed her sense of smell, then we moved on to her assessing her vision, and later on her auditory system, and also the, all the muscles surrounding her head and neck. And all this is a quick summary of how to conduct a cranial nerve examination. Thank you for watching.